Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. Today we're going to talk about putting a Quadrino Zoom, which is a multi weed board, on the Dual Sky Hornet. How to put it on there and get it configured. What the reason we're putting this one on is it has a couple of advanced features that our stock controller doesn't include. This one will do auto level. It will also do uh, altitude hold. It can also do uh, mag hold, which is it'll hold it in a, a specific direction, keep it heading one direction. Um, it has another feature called head spree. Um, that feature enables you to make the quad always go right or left, no matter which way the quadcopter is facing. In other words, it doesn't have a front, just references where you started. Uh, I don't really use that one. It's kind of kind of not really helping you learn how to fly. So um, they also have what's called a horizon mode, which that's my favorite mode. Basically what it is, it's an auto level, and then it's, the farther you push the sticks, like left or right, the less it's going to try to level. So basically it goes from auto level and full deflection, you're in acro mode, which is just free flying. Then there's an angle mode where you can, it will only, it will always try to force back to the center to stabilize. And you can put a limit on there. So if you hit a certain angle, it'll automatically um, bounce you back to level. Uh, it's a pretty good board. Actually, it's really good. I've been test flying it uh, on another quadcopter for quite a while now. I'm really happy with it. These are made for by Flying Einstein. Uh, FlyingEinstein.com is where you can get them. And, uh, and also our website, 2 .com. This version is version 3. It's got a barometer cover on there. That's going to help out. It's also got the ability to hook up your USB and your Wi-Fi at the same time. See, this part right here is your USB port. What you'll be able to do is connect this to your computer and you can change a lot of settings. You can change what the switches on your radios do, turn the on and off features. Uh, pretty nice deal there. Uh, right here is where you can wire in a Bluetooth connector. They're not connected here now. Uh, that's something that you can get in the future. Right up here in this little corner, it's got a nice little made in the USA. Colin makes these in the, in the United States. Uh, the reason he makes these is uh, he standardizes all the components so that the software will work with every single board as opposed to buying uh, pieces off the internet and putting them together. You could build one of these uh, yourself. It's, it's possible. Um, it's just not very fun. Um, Colin does a great job putting these things together, supports them real well, and they're open source. So if you need questions, you can go to multiwee.com. There's a whole bunch of uh, a thread there. There's also a thread in RC groups uh, if you need technical support. Also, what Colin does in, in another a gentleman named Dr. Audio, they host a webinar, which is a web conference every Sunday at 3 o'clock, where you can log on and actually talk to them, and they can help you set up your board. They can send screenshots. Uh, it's really helpful for trying to get things configured. I did a, I've done a couple of those and, and learned a lot. Uh, basically, what you get is your board, and then you're going to get two sets of wires. One goes to the receiver, and one comes from the motors. And then what we're including in ours are these little buzzers. Uh, what you're going to use these for is this is your low battery alert. That's very helpful since the flight controller and the speed controllers don't do that anymore. Here's my Hornet. Uh, oops, wrong way. Here we go. There's my Hornet that I've got. Uh, what I did, I've unscrewed these screws. And there's the flight controller, the dual sky flight controller. What I'm going to do is disconnect these wires from my receiver alright and then I'm going to disconnect the wires um, from here the, that go into uh, this board the flight controllers All right. so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some double sided tape and I'm going to Put these wires and then put this here. I'm going to mount my, my zoom. It's got a front arrow, so it goes this way right in the center, um, pointing forward. And then back here is where these wires are going to come out. So you'll have this one right here going to the rotors. There we go. Okay. So this is going to come out and go to our motors and go underneath here. 
And this one is going to come out and go to receivers and come up again back in here. Uh, what I did on my other quad is I just put a little dab of hot glue right here to make sure that these wires don't come out. Um, Alright, well I'm going to go install this stuff and then we'll come back with the next video.